Well, guys, uh, good Tuesday morning to you. It's a little little after three o'clock, and uh, I am actually leaving Idaho Falls right now on my way to Denver. I'm gonna go pick up a little Jeep Wrangler. You know, uh, over the last few years, my daughters. You know, we had a couple of Corvairs years ago when, uh, still have one of them, but we had matching Corvairs at one point and the girls were younger and they were cute. You know, they were like, yeah, we're going to have matching cars when we, when we grow up. And then of course, uh, a few years ago, I have a Beetle that I gave to Alexa and a double cab I gave to Savannah and, uh, they're still excited about those cars, but the thing they really want is a Jeep Wrangler and I can't remember the name of the show I'm gonna have to think about that for a minute here and get back to you but in this uh, in this show that they watch it's a rerun from a few years back older show that's no longer on uh, the gal in this show drives a tan Jeep Wrangler and that's what they want they want to they want a tan Jeep Wrangler they have a pretty specific idea of what they want Savannah is pretty funny Alexa too they they both uh, really like the round headlight Jeep they don't like the square you know they don't like the YJ's they like the TJ's or even the CJ's and uh, needed to be tan they like soft top but they like the full steel doors so they were really specific on uh, what they wanted in a Jeep and uh, that's kind of tough to find especially you know I'm, I'm looking uh, at my at the auctions that I buy from that's where I was trying to come up with with a Jeep and anyways uh, yesterday one popped up in Denver Denver South auction never I've never bought anything for out of the Denver auctions just because it's a ways away with these auctions I'm only given like two or three days to get them out of there once I buy them so trying to get a, a shipper in there to pick them up within a couple of days of uh, purchasing them it's just not really an option so according to GPS I'm nine hours and 44 minutes away from Denver I'm sure that's gonna you know, by the time we do a couple of fuel stops and whatnot, that'll be a little bit bigger number. Kind of crazy times right now with uh, <clears throat> with the coronavirus going on. There's Denver sounds like yesterday they just locked down. They just locked down all the restaurants, closed restaurants, closed bars. Um, I've got enough food with me to last me the whole trip. I've got enough water with me to last the whole trip. Uh, the only thing I'll need to do is, you know, stop for fuel. I am packing an extra 10 gallons of diesel in the in uh, in fuel cans in the back, just in case. You know, there's a couple pretty long stretches across Wyoming where there's not a not a lot of options for for fuel. But we're gonna try to stop and steer clear of truck stops as much as possible but uh, we are off to Denver to pick up a 2004 uh, Jeep Wrangler tan full steel doors soft top and bonus it's actually an automatic might be kind of a, a negative for you know some guys looking you know most guys probably want a five-speed Wrangler but to be honest with you if I'm putting uh, my daughters in this thing and they're kind of starting out driving I'm kind of excited about the fact that this thing's an automatic it's just gonna be a lot easier for them to handle so does have a little bit of body damage I'll show you that here shortly when we arrive in Denver we'll see you guys in a few well good morning guys actually good afternoon now it 12 o'clock just turned 12 o'clock if you can see that we have 40 minutes till we are to the auction in Denver 
think I just saw a sign that we're 30 something miles out of Denver but uh, basically we're basically there so I don't I don't remember what time we left around four o'clock made pretty good time and we're gonna scoop up this Jeep we'll take a quick look at it throw it on the trailer actually they'll bring it out and load it for us after that we're gonna turn and burn I did notice there is a there's a beetle back a little ways two bay window buses and uh, a metro van so we're gonna hit up those on the way back quick stop and to see if anybody's interested in selling anything not that I'm really <clears throat> that anxious to do this drive again but hey you never know so another 40 minutes we'll grab this Jeep we're almost there well finally called us back here I've been waiting for about 45 minutes this is a huge yard even know where we're supposed to go just kind of guessing here but we're just gonna pull over here and see if we can get loaded somewhere out in all this mess is a Jeep that we bought 2004 Wrangler automatic Hoping it's a good one for the girls. Jeep. 
back there on the trailer. Um, I'm on my second tank of fuel. However, I did have two five gallon jugs in the back that I filled up just in case. Cause there's some pretty long stretches out here in Wyoming. And uh, I did in fact, I ended up blowing like a fuel stop and about 50, 60 miles down the road, I decided to pull over and add those two fives. So that got us another 150 mile range. I think we're gonna stop in Rollins and uh, get fuel. In fact, we're probably gonna stop and get fuel. If you go back and look through some of our older videos, there's a video of a Bannigan, Westphalia. Uh, I think the top there, the title is I bought a stolen camper van. We're, we're gonna be fueling up probably either at that gas station or the one right across the street. Um, but that's where we ended up. I met the guy, the thief, just a couple blocks away and then drove down to that gas station, called the police. Anyways, that's where we're headed is Rollins. I fuel up there and then uh, maybe grab just a, just a little bit of caffeine, not too much, but a little bit, and then uh, push on back to, uh, through, over towards Jackson area, through Alpine, so that's the plan, just to head back that direction, it's going to be a late one, I'd love to get home tonight though, I'd just be done, I'm not really feeling like uh, making a bed in the back of the truck and crashing back there. I'm not going to get a hotel for just a couple hours. So more than likely, I'm just going to suck it up and uh, push through. And even if we're getting home at 1 o'clock or whatever, it'll just be done. But uh, when I stop for fuel, I'll give you guys a little closer look at the old... Uh, Wrangler. Kind of a pretty decent looking little Jeep, I think. Got a pretty good deal on it. Kind of excited about that. I get, uh, that's, that's where it's at for me, is getting deals on stuff. And even though I had to do a bit of a, a drive to get this one, it was worth it. The deal was worth it. So, anyways, uh, see you guys in about 70 miles. We'll pop out and take a closer look at that thing. All right, so we're in Rollins for a fuel stop. This is the Wrangler. This is the ugly side. You can see, uh, I was thinking in the photos, this was in maybe two inches. Looks like it might be in closer to maybe three. Haven't really got a good look down inside yet, but my plan is to get inside here if I can't push it. I'm um, going to try to figure out a way to pull that out. Worst case scenario, this upper, you know, just kind of purchase this piece here off of a used one, seam it in. Although I really don't want to do that. I'd rather try to push this out, but these body lines right here are going to be tricky. Walk around this other side and I'll show you this other side. So yeah, just getting all this right. We'll just have to see. I have to see how it pushes out. This side's pretty nice. It just has, uh, actually really like just these steel mods. These are a little rusty. They're older, obviously, but they'll work good for now. It's got some decent, uh, decent tires on it. They're just kind of some off-brand. It's like Pathfinder is the brand. But, you know, get some good use out of those. 31, 10, 50. Good size. I mean, uh, it's a decent, it's a decent size. It's not lifted. It's not crazy. It'll be, uh, it'll be perfect for, for them to run around in. Looks like the little limit straps busted soft tops in decent shape interiors a little dirty but 
should clean up. Seams on the windows, the windows themselves are in good shape. This back here's a little rust on that hinge. Matching spare. But yeah, it's uh, not a bad little, little rust here on that handle. Not a bad little Jeep. Fired right up at the auction. Battery's kind of low. One of the things I, I was excited about on this one, you know, most people wouldn't really want an automatic and a Wrangler, but I figure where the girls are gonna learn on this one, probably be a, a good plan for them. Got the uh, dome lights and speakers up in the roll bar there. This is about, this is the newest, a few years back, quite a few years ago, actually, when Lexa was still pretty little, um, I'd build one or two Wranglers a year. And uh, the, the newest one I did at that time was a 97. And prior to that, most everything I was doing was YJ stuff or I did a CJ. But uh, this is the newest. This is a 2004. You can see on the hood, the hood's got some hail damage. And it's just it's just beat so we're just gonna we're gonna toss that windshield's good windshield frames good should be uh yeah it should be a decent little should be a decent little jeep picked this up for a pretty good price um so we've got plenty of room to plenty of room to play with it but the big, the big thing, I think we're probably gonna do a fender from the looks of it. Probably best just to put a fender on it. But this, this is our problem area. No frame damage, frame's good. We're just gonna have to see uh, once we start pulling on it, we'll have to see how this corner comes out. All right. Um, Looks like we just topped off the tank, so I'm gonna hit back, get back on the road, and see if we can, uh, yeah, get this thing home tonight before 1 a.m. All right, update. It is 10 o'clock, just about 9:59, 10 o'clock, more or less, and we have three hours and three minutes before we're back to the shop. So that's 1 a.m., which is uh, just awesome. That uh, couple hours set back in Copart was kind of a bummer. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna peel into the shop, grab a battery charger, clean up the terminals on this thing real quick, and throw a charge on it overnight because obviously tomorrow morning I want to show the girls I want to fire the thing up maybe take it for a spin around the block don't want to be doing that with a dead battery so that's the plan we're going to burn on into the shop like I said we got about three hours still to go but um, roll in grab a charger clean and tighten terminals and I'm just going to take the trailer truck everything back to the house and uh put the charger on the jeep overnight so guys uh three more hours wish me luck i'm starting to fade a little I'm starting to feel it I'm starting to kind of feel the yeah i think uh by the time we get home at one what did we leave it like left it around four ish yeah, so by the time we get home, we're gonna we're gonna be on the road for 22, 21, 22 hours somewhere in there. I can't do math right now; my brain's fried. Let's do it. Let's get this road trip done. Well, guys, just left the shop. It's uh, 1:33. Heading over to the house to throw the battery charger on this Jeep. I'm going to bed. Hopefully this thing will take a charge and we 
can fire it up in the morning and let the girls check it out. Made it. That was a long, that was a long day. I don't think I'll be buying anything out of Denver for a while. At least not, uh, if I do, it'll be a two-day trip instead of doing it all in one. Catch you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. I uh, got up and unloaded the Jeep. Battery actually held a charge. And uh, so far the girls don't know anything about this. I'm bringing them out to show it to them for the first time. Kind of a surprise. We got to fix this. This is going to be our spring break project. Is it close to the one you wanted? Go ahead and hop in. Jump in. So what needs a little detail work. Up in the other side, Lex. So it's almost like the one you wanted? No, it is exactly like the one you wanted. No, it can't be exactly. It's almost. It's pretty much what you wanted. What do you think? She might need a booster chair. Might. A booster? <laughs> Maybe we can put some spacers under hey, the seat. Hey, are those our chickens? Mm -hmm. They're just going to visit the neighbors. What, what do you think? think? <laughs> Jinx. Jinx. <clears throat> I think you got some time you can come down and help fix this side. Uh -huh. Alexa doesn't want it. Nan, it's all yours. No, I Yay. just know because Nan's gonna wanna drive all the time. It's gonna leave me well, with I'm not. my license before you, so it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> you, maybe you guys could get it at the same time. Should we run over and show it to Grandpa? Does it run? Yeah. We can drive it over there. Want to? It needs a mass airflow sensor, I so I probably should drive it, and then once I get that mass airflow sensor, then you guys can put it around. How do I get in the back? But that seat, here, I'll show you how that seat works. What do you think, Lex? Hmm? What say you, Lex? Kind of like it. Forward. Well, yeah, but Nan's gonna steal it. Oh, no. She yeah. won't steal it. Yeah, she I will. I think these people like Subway and Cheetos. It's actually fairly open to be as crunched as it is. It's a little dirty. I need maybe some seat covers and stuff. It's a little detail work. Very clean They're actually people. really spacious back here. More than you thought. Mm -hmm. It's a good color, huh? Yeah. It's perfect. You, Lex, you're concerned about Savannah. 